out of time. In a place. Named for 10,000 lakes. The great blue heron stood on the banks of North Woods. After the flood, the south bank was almost completely wiped out and underwater. The deer population moved over the river to the north woods, and all animals followed on the trail. <coughs> Newly born fox cub, Foster Fox, got separated from his parents. Foster was confused. He ran toward the high ground, but was newly born, and with the deer stampede, he almost got trampled. The makeshift dam had completed breaking, and Beaverside tour guide, the beaver, saw Buster Fox and called out to him. A flat stone came flying at Buster, and Beaverside slipped up Buster onto the stone with his tail just in time. But as he does, stone hits the beaver and knocks him into the water where Buzzy the turkey vulture flies down and scoops him up. Buster was knocked unconscious as the unleashed raging storm waters pushed the stone carrying the stowaway from the south bank of the river across the north bank amongst the place where North Forest Woodlands Council usually held their meetings. The bird and bug network spot the sleeping fox and alert the Woodlands Council. You must be quick who? said Birdie to Oreo as she begins to flutter around nervously. A raccoon is at battle in the Badlands, replies Oreo. We must alert the council. The raccoon, known as Raccoon, is hard at work in the battle against the Badlands game and rescue of Layla from the heart of the Badlands. So the wise turtle, being counted by Porky Porcupine, decides to assume leadership. <coughs> the two deem that the fox was dangerous and would grow to be a carnivore. So he should be moved from the north bank and taken to the north bank. While he was unconscious, where across the man-made stream, on the forest road. Perky and Wise Shuttle are friends, and sometimes, like this time, Perky convinces Wise Shuttle of what should be done. He would be better off with his own kind. Perky said firmly. He's only cooked. Complain his heart into our water. To you, Wise Shuttle. Wise Shuttle explains. Nevertheless, when this cub grows, he will be bigger and stronger than any in the North Bank. Porky confirms the suggestion. He must be removed. The two throw up the stone gently in the stream, and it reaches the other side. The stone is floating from North Bank on one side of the stream to the North Bank on the other. The adoptive mother creatures, Tonda Turkey and Mrs. Cottontail, are standing by. Wise Turtle and Porky Porky Pie, as they watch from a high place with a few trees overlooking the banks and stream of the North Woods. As they are watching, Birdie flies ahead to see what may land store for the baby fox, and soon you can see Lone Werewolf lurking about and sniffing, acting frantic, 
try and sniff out this new scent. Lone Grey Wolf howls and wakes up Foster. Foster rises to his feet, shakes his wet fur, then notices his surroundings, including the stream behind him, and remembers the dangers of the water. He starts calling for his mother. This is just what Long Gray Wolf needs to zero in on him. Mommy! Also spotting the fox cub from the high atop Coyote Canyon is the Yanni. Who calls to her mate Ken, the leader of Coyote King. Ken, Daddy shouts. There is but a cub down there lost and crying out for his mother. He is not from our clan, Yanni. Replies Ken. Yes, but he is a motherless four leg, obviously stranded in this part of the woods. Yes, but he is not our concern, says Ken. Besides, that is the hour for which I will hunt for the night. We do not want to disobey the rules of the forest. Then Yanni spots Long Gray Wolf moving in on Foster. Can, are you watching this? cried Yanni. It's not our business, Yanni, says Can in a sleepy, tired voice. But he's not just as he was, cried Yanni. But he is, though. So is the wolf. That's what he's going to eat, then, replied Ken. Yanni was angry and sad. You didn't think that wave in great length saved you? For goodness sake, Yanni. Yes, Ken. No. In fact, Yanni. For goodness sake, I am going to try and save that cub from that mean old bully. Yanni turns to confront the rest of the coyote clan. Who is coming with me? As Yanni faces the assembled crowd of coyotes, they look around and whimper. Ladies. Yeah, Yanni? That could be your cub down there. Wouldn't you want some creature to do something? You are right, Yanni. Agrees, Tana? Yeah! Exclaimed Lana. Ladies, come on. And Yanni turns to the path which leads to the bottom of Coyote Canyon. We, unlike the men around here, have a job to do, even if it costs our hides. Long Gray Wolf chases down Foster. There you are, Dinner. Says Long Gray Wolf. I've been looking all over for you. My name is not Dinner, says Foster. Of course it is, cries Long Gray Wolf. And I have been searching for you. Foster is afraid. <laughs> mommy! Oh, you want your mommy dinner? Long way up the teasers. You can meet up with her next. You can't. She got lost in the water. Says Foster in an angry but sad voice. Why are you calling for her? Ask Long Way Wolf. Mommy not dinner. It's Foster. Besides Foster Cock. It's nice to meet you, Foster. My name is... As Long Grey Wolf begins to introduce himself, he then remembers he is not there to make friends. Wait a minute. I don't care what your name is, Snack Cake. Growls well, Long Grey Wolf. Foster darts off back toward the water from which he came. He can see North Bank, Williams on the other side of the water, with a few creatures watching in Coyote Canyon, where a few coyotes are still watching. Do you think we should help him? Asked Squirrel Andy of Porky Porky Pine. No. Says Porky. He's a carnivore. Tiny Turkey is worried for the young fox cub. He's just a baby. A baby carnivore? Explains Porky. Carnivores eat meat. I know, but he's not eating anything right now. Says Skunk and the Skunk. He needs milk. But Porky does not care. He needs to learn how to fight or be an entree. I don't know. Squirrel Andy says quietly. This seems cruel. Cruel till he grows up and eats, yeah? Yes, Porky. And your kids too. Skunk Andy disagrees. 
Not if we raise him properly. We raise him? Jazz Plucky. What do you think this forest is? An adoption agency or something? No. Time to like you said without hesitation. But our creator, the great spirit, will be clear. Shouts Foster Fox. Mongo chases Foster to a point on the north road over there near the foot of Coyote Canyon, where he either has to climb Coyote Canyon or swim, and he is now definitely afraid of the water. Foster Fox is crying out for help to the forest. There's no help to save you, boy. Says Mongo Wolf. Just me and my stomach. Use your talk a lot. For Hungry Wolf. What? I was thinking the same thing. What? <laughs>